This is ABC. Today, get ready for another exciting adventure of... Slimer and the real Ghostbusters. Then have no fear. A pup named Scooby-Doo is here today. You gotta watch. It's the best. What kind of camel kid are you? Here we go on the run. Busy having some fun. Love to spin and twirl. Do the curly world. What kind of camel kid are you? You can play with the stars. Especially marked boxes, and you can win this mountain bike or a handy snack sleeping bag. And everyone gets cool stickers. Go ahead, spin or back to back. Make a deck with Handy Snacks. For a free game card, write to Handy Snacks. P.O. Box 1233, Skokie, Illinois, 60076. Thousands enter, hundreds win. Make that! Scooby Dooby Dooby, a pop six Scooby Dooby Dooby. Like this is the city, Coolsville, USA. Every day at dawn, the Daily Babbler newspaper truck pulls up to my house. And Mr. Conrad tosses out a big pile of newspapers. You see, I have a paper route to deliver, so I always wake up early. Well, almost always. And whenever I oversleep, I get woken up by my personal alarm clock. A pup named Scooby-Doo. Wake up, Raggy. Wake up, wake up. Oh, all right, Scoob, all right, like I'm off, I'm up. Go load the papers on my bike, will you? Okay, Raggy. in my bed, Mom will have a cow. <laughs> Zoinks! Like what's wrong, Scoop? You look like you've seen a ghost. Well, exactly. <laughs> After these 
messages will be right back. Wake up to the hot taste of Kellogg's Pop Tarts. A taste so cool, so cool they're hot. Pop Tarts popping up, they pop up hot. A taste so cool, inside they're hot. Taste the real food so hot, hot, hot. Oh, oh. A taste so cool, so cool they're hot. If you were mine, Olive would love me. What? Olive, I got you to get me carrot back. Popeye, your spinach. And the spinach. I want to be Quaker apples and cinnamon oatmeal. Here, Popeye. Instant Quaker oatmeal is part of me balanced breakfast. Okay, Pluto. So nobody better steal me carrot or me instant Quaker oatmeal. Popeye wants a Quaker. We now return to a pop in Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo. We now return to a pop in Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo. This is ABC. When I first came to this country, I wanted to buy a new car. My friend said, Jakob, it will cost you a mint. I said, what a country. You can pay for things in candy. The fun fact is, U.S. dollar bills are made from linen and cotton. If one gets dirty, you can send it to dry cleaners. <laughs> Lifesavers candy. Isn't life delicious? Is it time? Is it time? Today, it's one great hour of the gummy bears and the new adventures of Winnie the Pooh. You gotta watch. It was that. Ah, howdy do, I know. It's Monster Mac! In the Crunchmobile! Give me a big cereal with a big honey taste! Big thing, honey gum, big thing. Honeycomb cereal, part of this big, complete breakfast. We'll be right back. Yeah. Dinosaurs, come on! Capture the dinosaur. Don't drop the stop the dinosaur. It's the dinosaur hunt. Chef Boyardee, dinosaurs. Dinosaurs from Chef Boyardee. Tasty, wholesome pasta that's a dinosaur hunt. Cause first one to capture all three dinosaur shapes wins. Thanks for this for Chef Boyardee. Dinosaurs with meatballs. I'm not one of your everyday fly when I ghost. I'm the top dog, the big cheese. Ha! I'm the biodegradable, semi inflatable, jack of all tradable. Beetlejuice? Yeah! Beetlejuice? Yeah! Beetlejuice! 
Coming Saturday mornings this fall. To arms, to arms, the trolls have escaped. Ah, fresh air. Come on, you two nips. We're free. Yeah, yeah, Clutch, just like you said. What a leader, what a guy. Move it or lose it, duck. Nope. Oh. Oh. Uh, would you like a walnut clutch? Stop showing. That's our ammunition. Ha! A few odds and ends from the prison kitchen and... Not to you, Gregor! And a death to your boots! Get those lights on again! Let's see those Dunwinian dances stand between us and our stolen gold now! Hustle! Hustle! Once we get our gold out of that apple tree, we're home free! Yahoo! The apple tree! Our gold! What happened? Uh, gophers? Gophers don't leave cart tracks. But whoever did is going to get hurt. Ouch! I told you this was a rotten idea, Grammy. Honestly, Gruffy, if you can't do something nice... Oh, Gruffy, it's a present for my father on Monarch's Day. And you of all people know it's better to give than receive. Oh, well, Kala, I guess. What are you all staring at? We got an apple tree to deliver. Look over there. More light. We'll find it. Wow, someone must have left the moat running. Oh, how are we going to sneak my present into the main courtyard now? As leader of this expedition, I have only one thing to say. Bottoms up. Oh, gummy berry juice. Look, look, look. Uplifting idea, Gruffy. Thank you, Thummy. And thank all of you. Especially Gruffy for leading us. It's the Dunwinian Award of Merit. Well, whoever we're following ain't very far ahead. In fact, I'd say... Back it! An award of merit. That has a nice ring to it. If he doesn't start pushing, I'll give him an award of merit. Dummies! They must have our gold. Well, we'll just follow them and get it back. <laughs> Big beans, bologna, banana. Hmm, a little brass polish ought to shine this right up. Ruffy, stay up! Oh, no! Surprise! Trolls and Gummy Glen, what do you want, you smelly green troublemakers? Hey, I resemble that remark. Shut up! Okay, furball. Where's our gold? Gold? Don't play smart. You're not good at it. The gold in the trunk of that apple tree you took. But we took the tree to Dunwin Castle. Not the castle. We can't go back there. Jail? Prison? The cooler? The hoose gal? The pen? The slammer? Okay, so the gold's in Dunwin. Well then, you get to go get it. If not, Bye-bye to the other bear bears. All right, but I'll need help. Take the fat one and the old one. Who are you calling old? Just get the gold! Shh! This way! Hey, anybody there? No. Oh, all right. Wait a minute! 
Okay. Troll said the gold hidden inside the tree. There must be a secret compartment. We probably just pulled down on this branch and... <coughs> Thanks. That's the nook we're looking for. And it's... empty. Grumpy? Summy? Tummy? What are you three doing here? More grub! More grub! It's coming! Don't get crazy! You put enough onions on these pancakes? <laughs> Syrup! <laughs> now for that there salami. Why, if I had my hands free, I'd teach you a thing or two about manners, you disgusting little... Ouch! Let her alone, you big bully! So, the little hero wants to stick his nose where it don't belong. Stick it in this! Where are those fuzzy fools? They better get back soon with the loot. Oh, we're going to have to get mean. But I told you, my father's guards found the gold and put it in the treasury already. What do we do now, Gruffy? I... I don't know. We gotta take the trolls back something, or they'll hurt everyone. Well, I know a secret entrance to the royal vault. Uh, yeah, but Kala, uh, that's your mother's funny. Uh, yeah, yeah, father's money. I don't care. We have to save Sunny and the others. I have a plan. But it's a very, very risky plan. Hey, better, better. Hey, better. Mm. Golden delicious. About time. Where's the other one? Uh, maybe he was caught by the guards. No! <laughs> Let's see how he likes the dungeon. Wow, look at the pretty gold. And it's all ours. Correct. All mine. Get over there with the bears. You stay. The gold goes. Why, you rotten, slimy double crosser. <laughs> Ain't it the truth? Anyone makes a move and the fur flies. Wreck our home, will you? Oh dear, oh dear. I've got to find a spell. That's our exit cue, Tuck. Not so fast, Greeny. Here, hold this. Ooh. Nope, nope, not this one. Quick, Tommy, swing me back! Just a second. Me. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Something I picked up from Grammy. Stay here and watch these trolls. The leader's mine. <laughs> Peekaboo! Going somewhere? Ammo. You're heading back to Dunwin's Iron Hotel. Uh, you'll never take me alive, Gummy! What? No! Uh, you got 
want to get me out of here, I'll, I'll split the loot with you. Sixty forty. What do you say? Kala was right. It is better to give <coughs> than receive. Happy Monarch's Day, Father. Well, thank you, my dear. Come see your gifts. The tree is the first part of my present. How wonderful. But that's not all. What? It's the escape trolls. That's amazing, Color. How on earth did you ever capture them? Oh, <laughs> a little gummy helped me. <laughs> but, Color, you know I don't believe in gummy bears. <laughs> you know, Kingy, sometimes I guess we are pretty unbelievable at that. <laughs> After these messages, we'll be right back. Our mission is to finally buy a Chips Ahoy cookie without biting a chip. Synchronize cookies. Bite. Well, the feet never tasted so sweet. Chips Ahoy. Bet you bite a chip. Teddy Grahams, a scrumptious bunch of bite-sized bears. Your Teddy Grahams. Graham snacks exploding with taste. Nabisco. Hit it, Sammy boy. A one, a tap, a turn. Woo! Need a bit of a tangle? You said it. It's hard to keep in step with no breakfast. What do you seek? Fruit Loops. Yeah, that would put me back on my feet. Then follow my suit. We'll shuffle off for flavors of fruit. Ah, smell that Kellogg's Fruit Loop cereal. Natural orange, lemon, and cherry flavors. Part of this complete breakfast. Hey, Fruit Loops are a kick. Wanna hit it again? Oh, yeah. Hippie tap. Hey. Presenting my special crush berry. Crush berry, crush berry, such a fun bunch to eat. Crush berry, so no, that many crunchy. Crush berry, and very sweet. You may be sweet, but that Noah's a little sour. Crunch berries are part of a balanced breakfast. The wind-up and the pitch. Candy Crunch baseball cards and bubble gum. They're free. You can get two of these 22 superstars on Cap'n Crunch baseball cards plus bubble gum and each specially marked box of Cap'n Crunch cereal. your bedtime, Christopher Robin. Enough television for tonight. Aw, oh, Mom. You know those kind of movies give you nightmares. But, Mom, that was way back when I was a kid. Good night, darling. Sweet dreams. And don't let me see your head leave that pillow. <sighs> she said for my head not to leave the pillow. But she never said anything about the pillow leaving the bed. <laughs> Hello, Christopher Robin. I see you do that the way I do, the hard way. Hello, Pooh. Piglet. What are you doing up? Well, my tummy was rumbly, so it came over to look for something sweet. <laughs> I'm just here to keep it company. And Biglet's just here to keep me company. Uh, Christopher Robin, not that it doesn't look very nice. Why do you have a pillow on your head? Uh, because I need it to watch TV. You're right. I can see the TV very clearly. Hey, Piglet, Christopher Robin, anybody seen Pooh Boy? Thought I heard him. You did, Tigger. And I'm here, under here. So, what's on? Shh. Hey, that looks good. Hey, look at this. Uh, it's gone. I've always been fond of... Nah, this is better. Oh, perhaps we could watch a show that lasts a little longer. How about this? There goes another one. Wait, this looks great. Nah, I saw it before, about three seconds ago. Ah, my favorite. Ah, oh, there. Just what I wanted to see. Wonderful, Tigger. 
but it did seem to go by rather quickly. <sighs> it went by quickly because we all fell asleep. Hey, look what's on. A nice spine-tickling slusher film. A slusher film? Yeah, you know, one of them films where the guy boogity boogities you. That hits you with a snowball. Oh, da 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 dear. Uh, couldn't we watch something a little nicer? Like the potato growing show? It's my favorite program. No, a slusher film sounds great. The slusher who slushed everyone and then went back to slush them again. Whoop, what a title. Piglet, why are you hiding under the couch? Well, Pooh, it's where I can best watch the movie without having to see it. Say, what kind of a slusher film is this? Look, he's only holding a butter knife. A b b butter knife? Oh, d -d dear, the poor butter. Hello, kids. Do you suffer from late night hunger pangs? Would you like something special to eat? After these messages, we'll be right back. We're out of corn pops. Sorry. She ate all my Kellogg's corn pops. I'll just get something else. How could she? We're supposed to share. Where's Mom? Oh, Mom, that pops taste like sweet popcorn, and she ate the last bowl. Uh, hey, guys. Oh, corn pops. Kellogg's corn pops is part of this complete breakfast. I gotta have my pops. Sunday for the uh, boy. That'll be. Ah, uh, this is not a carrot. You can get a coupon for a free Dairy Queen Sunday on the back of corn pops. Oh, and uh, keep the change. Chemical cereal! Straight ahead! Hmm, something is up, and it looks like... The Soggies! Let's take off with that tasty sweet crunch! Captain Crunch, they pinched breakfast! Hmm, <laughs> those Soggies are out of line! <laughs> Good thing I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> what goes up must come down. Yay! Captain Crunch cereal is a tasty part of a complete breakfast. Fully flies for the birds! I'm Captain O.G. Reborn. My motto's tried and true. Read a book today, I bet you'll say, oh, gee, <laughs> I'll read more, too. <laughs> Got slimed lately? Better watch out. There's some coming your way next on Slimer and the Real Ghostbusters. Tonight at 8, 7 Central, the Belvedere crew takes the field with a team of the greatest baseball legends. Don't miss the season premiere of Mr. Belvedere. Then, this young man gave up a big bucks career to teach fourth grade? Watch a special preview of Homeroom. And tomorrow, there's awesome entertainment on Incredible Sunday. This is Miss Judy. We are really excited about the first WNEP TV Super 16 Championship Bowling Tournament. The finals will be broadcast live on WNEP, and the winner will qualify for the U.S. Open. Get details at your local bowling lane. This is ABC. <laughs> you can bam a man. Zing a man. One, one, one at a time, my man. Any way you want a man. Down a man. Snarf a man. Pack inside chicklets, they're in.
changes. We'll be right back. Send it, Sammy boy. A one, a tap, a turn. Woo! In a bit of a tango? You said it. It's hard to keep in step with no breakfast. What do you seek? Fruit Loops. Yeah, that would put me back on my feet. Then follow my snoot. We'll shuffle off for flavors of fruit. Ah, smell that Kellogg's Fruit Loop cereal. Natural orange, lemon, and cherry flavors. Part of this complete breakfast. Hey, Fruit Loops are a kick. Wanna hit it again? Oh, yeah. Tippy tap. Hey. What would you kids like to do today? Goodness, would you look at this? Show this pizza you can act like a kid. You'll have more fun than you ever did. You can laugh, you can play, you can do it your way. Boy, what a dish! Showbiz pizza. What do you kids want to do? Come on. Where a kid can be a kid. to have a wonderful time at doggy school. Oh, oh here we are. Happy Tales of Medium School. Oh. Oh. Come on, Baden. Oh. It's time for a little canine culture. <laughs> shape in no time. Just listen to all our happy students. And you see, Ferdinand, there's nothing to worry about. Oh, Bye-bye. See you at five. Browser! <laughs> Enough already! Take this shrimp out with the other mutts. Oh! 
witch, you know, like a cat, so steal my pizza. Capiche? Shoot her! Ah, Slimer, my little peasant. <laughs> Thank you so much for saving my pizza. No problem, Luigi. I'm your peasant. <laughs> Here, you save the pizza, you get a reward. Oh, right. Jazzy. <laughs> He's going to the doggies. We need more customers. More, more, more! I want my restaurant filled with customers in one hour. Get it? Si. Got it? Si. Got it? Si. Merci. Go! I have <coughs> spoken. Oh, mamma mia! I'm in a deep tomato sauce. What am I going to do, Skill? Make a commercial! A commercial? Starring uh -huh, uh -huh. Luigi Pazan. <laughs> really? Makeup! We're losing light! Hey, 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 you know, Slam, just maybe this is gonna work. Because <laughs> I can sing. La, la, la. And I can dance. I guess I didn't sing and dance so good, eh, Slime? <laughs> ah, sorry, Paisano. Luigi cannot make a commercial. Luigi can only make a pizza. Yeah, yeah! Luigi, make a big pizza! Hey, you mean like the world's biggest pizza? Ha 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 ha! Slimerino, that's a bellissimo idea! <laughs> Okie dokie, Luigi. We need a flower! Lots of flowers! Slime, don't forget the yeast! Alright, Luigi! <laughs> don't use it too much! The big pizza, we're making a big pie. We're making the big pizza in your eye. Oh, no. Whoa, and that, that's the big pizza. She's a cooking on the hot pavement. Sweetheart, baby boo boo. Luigi! It is five o'clock! Where are my customers? Oh, excuse me, my name is a customer. I'm not an elevator, my name is Dad. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. She's a cook. 
walking on the hot pavement. Sweetheart, baby boo boo. Luigi! It is five o'clock! Where are my customers? Oh, excuse me, I'm not sure what is a customer. I'm not going to be my name yet. Oh, yeah, that's right. Never mind. Oh, it's not a thing. of a dog are you? Go stop that little runt or don't come back. <laughs> back tomorrow. Oh, no! That's not necessary! He's completed the course, fulfilled all the requirements, he's a graduate! With honors, magna cum laude, he's done! Take him away! Get him out of here! Oh, Ferdinand, I'm so proud of you! A special treat for you right here in the trunk. Oh, oh look, Ferdinand! That rather strange little doggy has something for you. After these messages, we'll be right back. Cocoa Puffs in Hushville. Now he must face the king. Sonny's writing him a note. It says Cocoa Puffs have king-size crunch. And the king has asked for Cocoa Puffs, the chocolatey part of this complete breakfast. Here goes. Yahoo! These Cocoa Puffs are great. Ray, that Cocoa Puffs. Hooray! Hooray! Now Hushville's got a new name. Chocolate Crunchville. Kids, now you can get your own Hushville pad in specially marked boxes of Cocoa Puffs. What kind of camel kid are you? Here we go on the run, busy having some fun. Love to spin and twirl, do the curly little whirl. What kind of camel kid are you? You can play with the stars, kick around to lows, cause camel soups are Now return to Slimer in the real Ghostbusters. Hen, I can dance.
I guess I didn't sing and dance so good, eh, Slime? Ah, sorry, Paisano. Luigi cannot make a commercial. Luigi can only make a pizza. I went to Chinese restaurant, the waiter said to me, how about chopsticks? I said, sure, I love piano music. 
The fun fact is, if you dig a hole to China, you actually end up in Australia. There, somebody gives you a fortune cookie. The message might be, they mate. <laughs> Scooby and the gang try not to lose their head over a headless skateboarding ghost. You'll want to stay tuned for A Pup Named Scooby-Doo next. Tomorrow, see a pint-sized super shot and a winter wipeout so cool it's hot on Incredible Sunday. And Monday, an old flame could bring a kiss of death for MacGyver. This is ABC. A. All the gummy bears. B. Beetlejuice. C. See all your ABC Saturday morning cartoon favorites live on stage when Taco Bell presents ABC's Family Fun Fair. Don't miss it. It's fun, it's free, and it's all for you. The ABC Family Fun Fair, August 18th through the 20th at the Summit Place Mall on Telegraph Road in Waterford Township. Premiering today. Get on the ball. The time has come to turn him loose. Beetlejuice. I thought I'd drop in. Beetlejuice. Oh, what a spin of the old head to celebrate. Beetlejuice. Ghost with the moon! Beetlejuice. Premiering today. You've got to watch. It's the best. <laughs> It's too quiet for the big crunch of Cocoa Puffs, the chocolatey part of this complete breakfast. Oh, I'm cuckoo for these big chocolatey crunchy puffs. Uh-oh. Now, Sonny's... Oops, sorry. Now, Sonny's in jail for crunching Cocoa Puffs too loud in hospital. Will he get out? Hey, let's have a party of our own. It's the three-in-one glamour gown. You wear the long ruffled skirt. You wear the glamorous gown. I'll wear the short and sassy party dress. Dazzling. dazzling. With so many ways to wear the three-in-one glamour gown, we'll all look dazzlingly different. <laughs> the new dress and dazzle three-in-one glamour gown. You'll know by the bow. How cares Beetlejuice? A scam. Let's see. Wanted. Scarecrow on a beetle farm. Hmm. Beetle farm? Now that's something I can stick my teeth into. Wow! <laughs> Nothing like a breath of fresh country topsoil. Well, better get ready for work. I'm Farmer Bailey, and I need someone to scare the birds away from my glowworm fields. I thought this was a beetle farm. It is. 
Yeah, it is. Them glow worms will hatch into beetles any moment. But I gotta get into town and sell my hay. Well, not all my hay. Say no more, Farmer Bailey. <laughs> Nothing's gonna eat these worms. Before they turn into beetles, that is. <laughs> This is my kind of job. Let's see. Where's that recipe for beetle upside down cake? Ah, here it is. Stir in ten fresh beetles. Add two cups of oil of bat's breath and a pinch of putrefied weasel knees to taste. Then bake. Mmm. Wow! Worm eating warblers. Okay, I could just shoo them away. <laughs> or, how about the cold shoulder from old man Witcher? <laughs> or maybe, I could turn into a big mean cat. Birds hate cats. <laughs> what a bunch of chickens. <laughs> <laughs> nice going, Fatal Breath. Hey, look, guys. Hot cat on a tin roof. Yeah, an electrifying performance. Great. Mockingbirds. You know I hate them. <laughs> Robins. And they're robbing my lunch. Time to get a little cagey. <laughs> Jailbirds. Huh? Whoa! That's the biggest swallow I ever saw. Hey! Bird brain! <laughs> Just one more strike and the bee guy becomes champion of mocking bird lanes. <laughs> Should wipe out my beetle crop. Hey, Bailey, in the barn! Oh, well, look at all my cute little baby beetles. <laughs> Thanks, Beetlejuice. <laughs> I don't know how to repay you. Repay me? All you have to do is pay me, pal. Ah. A couple of bales short of a full load. <laughs> After these messages, we'll be right back. The day Birdie the early bird learned how to fly, Ronald tried to help Birdie reach the sky. Her friends all tried to help, but that bird couldn't fly. Try once more, just for me. I'm trying for you, trying for you. Oh, I'm flying! So Birdie flew in true early bird style. Wow, flying is grand! Birdie, we miss you! Okay! Time, great taste! Now who's gonna teach me how to land? Oh, McDonald's! <laughs> There's a special kind of love no one can match. You'll find it in the Cabbage Patch. Cabbage Patch Kids, a special kind of love. She needs Oh, welcome to the family, Sarah Ann. Cabbage Patch Kids are each different as can be. Cabbage Patch Kids, a special kind of love. Cabbage Patch Kids come with a birth certificate and application for adoption, and they're each sold separately. And now, 
back to Beetlejuice. This is ABC. Hi, Happy Meal. So much fun for everyone. We'll take you there. Boats and trains, model planes, flying through the air. Hobby days are here again. Sharing a good time with the friends. Good times begin. Main Hobby Center. The new. Main Hobby Center, Route 6 Blakely. Main Hobby Center. The Orange Men in Temple shoot it out at high noon today. Bugs Bunny and Tweety Show. After these messages, we'll be right back. It's the Great Malupo. Prepare yourselves for a thousand and one taste adventures. With one fruit roll-up and imagination, you can have tons of taste sensations. The tangy twirl makes your taste buds whirl. The skinny square has a taste light as air. With a funky chunk, you get a chewy hunk. Ooh, you're catching on, and now I must be gone. Fruit roll-ups, a thousand and one taste adventures. Herpy, here's Dolly. Baby Dolly surprise, your baby Dolly surprise. Your baby hair grows right before my eyes. I gently brush and style and dice. I can make it short again. She's new, baby Dolly surprise. Her hair goes like magic. Isn't she beautiful? I love the way your hair grows before my eyes. New baby Dolly surprise, each sold separately from Play School. We now return to the Bugs Bunny and Tweety Show. After these messages, we'll be right back. I'm really rolling with the Super Golden Crisp cereal. With ten vitamins and minerals, it's the rocking part of this complete breakfast. That's music to my ears. Hmm, a fur coat with teeth. The better to eat your honey sweet weed sugar bear. Open wide for a vitamin pack punch. Phew, close shave. I can't get enough super golden crisp. It's got the crunch with punch. Yeah. We were the last ones to leave after the Hex big concert. Oh, man, they were great. Someday, I'm going to be a rock star. Don't, Don't wait, wait for, for someday. Time. Rock right now. With new Sunkiss Fun Fruits Rock and Roll Shapes, the fruit snack made with real fruit in the coolest of shapes. Guitars, keyboards, and saxophones. New Fun Fruits Rock and Roll Shapes. If they don't rock you, nothing will. I just played golf for the first time, and Caddy said to me, Yakov, can I get you a driver? I said, no, it's a beautiful day, I'll walk. The fun fact is, golf balls used to be stuffed with feathers to make them fly farther. 
This is what golfers must mean when they say, got a birdie. <laughs> Let's just up and have a fashion show. Introducing Dressing Pretty, three sets of dress-up clothes. You can pretend you're a fashion model or imagine you're a ballerina. Dressing Pretty, I'm Dressing Pretty. Look at me. Dressing Pretty lets me be all the me <laughs> I dream of be. Look at me, it's my wedding day. A beautiful bride in every way. Dressing Pretty. Dressing Pretty fashion model comes with everything here. Bride and ballerina sold separately. Wake up to the hot taste of Kellogg's Pop-Tarts. A taste so cool. So cool, they're yeah. hot. Pop-Tarts popping up, they pop up hot. A taste so cool, inside they're hot. Taste the real food, so hot, hot, hot. Oh, oh. A taste so cool, so cool. They're hot. More fun than a barrel of monkeys. Yeah. More laughs than anyone can bear. Premiering today, Alan Thicke hosts Animal Crack-Ups. It is the best. We now return to the Bugs Bunny and Tweety Show. <laughs> Dazzle has nail polish, makeup, fabulous hair, and more. And the bow lets you know it's real Dress and Dazzle. I wish it was my birthday. Dressing up, Dress and Dazzle, Dress and Dazzle, you're the one. Dazzling. New Dress and Dazzle scarf sets, makeup, and hair falls, each sold separately in toy departments. Prepare yourselves for a thousand and one taste adventures. Mm, with one fruit roll-up and imagination, you can have tons of taste sensations. The tiny twirl makes your taste buds whirl. With the funky chunk, you get a chewy hunk. Fruit roll-ups, a thousand and one taste adventures. And here's a cool neon slate to make designs look hot. Hot pink or hot orange, it's free inside fruit roll-ups. Hey, Badum Bump, what kind of shoes are made from banana skin? I don't know. Slippers! <laughs> Thank you! Welcome to Animal Crack-Ups. I'm Alan Thicke, and today we've got everything from the birds and the bees to the chimpanzees. And people, too. She has condensed nine to five into a half hour of fun, Sally Strether! Here's that bookworm who's always at the head of the class, Dan Frischman. And the starlet of Punky Brewster, Soleil Moon Fry. This guy made all pro five times and all handsome three times, L.A. Raider Todd Christensen. Now for the real stars of our show, the animals. She got the
He doesn't want to, woo, he tickles. These are called naked rats, folks. Yes, I've been called worse. These are uh, genetically bred this way by some bald scientist with a grudge. Uh, look very closely, you'll see that uh, they have no hair and they're blushing about it. This one's a little, a little red. They make great pets. They're very clean. They're very fertile. Uh, and you got him? No, he's fine. They're friendly. I said great pet. They have a gestation period of only 22 days. Now, you can wait that long for a pizza. So, uh, when they have litters, they have about a dozen little rats. You could start your own talent agency. We'll just uh, find you a nice little pair of pants and a sweater and turn you over to Debbie Bartlett. Where's Debbie? Our... We don't want to... It's not a rat lady, right? That wouldn't be... There you go. Yes, they're just lovely little creatures. Have two others? I have one in my ear now, so speak up. <laughs> How do you feel about bees? Uh, what do you know about bees? You probably know that you have to behave near a beehive, or you better be where you're behind. Have I got rid of all of them now? <laughs> Let's see how many of you get an A in our bee quiz. Did you know that a bee colony can house 80,000 bees with just one queen ruling over them? That's no hive jive. Did you also know that the queen, her royal beeness, can lay up to 1,500 eggs per day? Let's see Princess Di do that. This is a wasp. He's many times larger than the bee, but the honeybees outnumber him, and their job is to protect that hive and protect their queen. When a bee loses its stinger, he dies. Fortunately, about 60,000 of them can live in a man-made bee colony like this. Let me tell you that bees like their climate control, somewhere between 60 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, when the temperature inside that hive gets too hot, exactly how do they cool down the hive, Clive? That's your question. We'll be starting with Todd Christensen. A lot of people may not see, but they have their own little sweat glands. That's where they cool themselves <laughs> down. They have their own little sweat glands. Very <laughs> inventive, yes. <laughs> All right, Soleil, are you buying that? I don't really know about it, but I I don't know. Maybe you put something on the top of the box. Or, I don't know. They I don't go know up for ice. They go down the hall in the little bee hotel and they use the machine. No. Okay. They have been endowed by their creator with these wonderful things called wings, which are like little miniature fans, and they all bat them, you know, very, very fast and it cools off the hive. And that you wouldn't worry that they would fly away by batting them so far. Well, they hold on very tight with all those little feet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't agree with Sally here. I say they flap their wings very, very rapidly. You know, I get the whole thing. Okay. Well, you've uh, all heard of worker bees. They're also the air conditioning bees, and here's how they do it. The workers stand at the hive entrance, and they buzz their wings, creating a cooling breeze. Now, with the help of this special John Madden diagram, we can see the formation of a bee line outside the hive. There's a lot of honey in there, too, about 50 pounds in this hive alone. Well done, Sally and Dan. You might notice Debbie handing out these furry little hedgehogs. That's the way she is, and we love her for it. She'll do that for every correct answer, and the guest with the most correct answers earns $2,500 for a favorite animal charity. Now, what has a hairy chest and an incredible sweet tooth? Maybe your father? Hopefully not your mother? But definitely the chimpanzee. And you'll meet some champion chimps after these words. Reggie the Hedgehog is an original poem. Eh -eh. Buzz, buzz, buzz is the sound that's clear. When a bee's making honey, that's what I hear. Buzz, buzz, buzz is the way bees sing. When I hear that song, I run from the sting. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up, an apple a day keeps the bird at play. After these messages, we'll be right back. I should drink milk, because it'll help me grow up big and strong. Milk's got stuff that's good for my bones and stuff that's good for my muscles. And I guess that's okay, but I'm more interested in having fun. That's what makes milk so neat. You can drink a lot of it, and it tastes cool, so it can be a real pick-me-up. Milk, it does the body good. All aboard for breakfast with my Crunchberry cereal. That's, That's us. us. Captain's Berry Sweetest Berry. 
Time to make tracks with those sweet, tasty crunch berries. Oh, no, the soggies. <laughs> help, help. Look, Captain. Yep, things should be turning around any time now. The Crunchberry Express, right on schedule. Thanks for giving us a hand, Captain. My special Crunchberries are the very sweet part of the balanced breakfast. Yeah! We now return to Animal Crackers. Uh, the football season's over. I want you to imagine now that you're uh, on vacation and you're in the jungles of South America. Would you expect to bump into a chimpanzee there? Chimpanzee in South America? Why? Well, I, I always assume that they come from Africa and Asia, but uh, I guess for the sake of argument, I'll say yes. <laughs> oh, well. well, that's the end of the first half. But the score, nothing for Todd. No, the answer is as close as the nearest map here was. If you do find a chimp in South America, do him a favor and put him on a plane home. He's lost. Chimps are only found in Africa. <laughs> See, we've learned something here today. All right, this is for Soleil. When a mother chimp has babies, how many babies does she usually give birth to? One, two, or three? Um, one? Yeah! Right. Yeah. That was a baby bell. Let's check out the chimp daycare center here. Let's count baby chimpanzees. There's one. Okay, you can stop counting now because mom only gives birth to one at a time. She carried that baby for about eight months in her womb, and then for the next six months, she carries it on her front like this. When the baby's a little bigger, mom carries it piggyback style for maybe a couple years until he gets a bus pack. There you go, all right, now, Sally, if you're silly enough to get a chimp mad at you, and don't ever do that, but if you did, would he be more likely to beat his chest or stomp his feet? Uh, or just if exhale? It's, if like... it's a male chimp, beat his chest. Oh! oh. Would what you, do I know? Will you go for stomping right. feet? Take a look at a cheesed-off chimp. Keep your eye on the big guy here. I don't know why he's angry. He's got something to eat, but he's in no mood to share, so he stomps his foot, which in chimp language means buzz off. Still got that old chimp rhythm, though. And a one. And a two. Stomping the foot. All right, Dan, when a chimp retires for the evening, is he more likely to crawl into a cave or climb into a nest? Well... Uh... <laughs> uh, I'd say he climbs into a nest. Beat his chest, Sally. Beat his chest. <laughs> All right, where does a chimp crash? Watch. <laughs> He's more likely to climb into a nest. Chimps make a new nest from branches almost every night, and since they love practical jokes, every now and then you'll find one short sheeting the tree. Here we go, Dan. You are about to see some surprising, amazing, delightful footage of pygmy chimps. And I'll be surprised if you're not amazed and delighted, too. These are the jungles of Africa, the only place in the world you can find chimps in the wild. And today, a big day. Tryouts for the chimp cheerleading squad. Practicing that pyramid you love to see at halftime. Coach knows that grooming is important. Looking good. These are sugarcane workers being carefully watched by the pygmy chimps. Chimps are waiting for the workers to leave. The way to a chimp's heart is through his sweet tooth. They just love sugarcane. So they wait patiently, or not so patiently. And as soon as the coast is clear, they move in, collecting the leftover pieces. Oh, boy, there ought to be enough sugar here for about 300 candy bars, about uh, 4,000 pies, about 8 million cavities. Oh, kids everywhere love their sweets, and Junior here is cuckoo for cane. You wonder, don't these parents try to straighten the kids out? I mean, that much sugar isn't good for anybody. At least it didn't stunt their growth. An average male, in spite of being called a pygmy chimp, stands about three feet tall and weighs in at around 80 pounds. 
Well, you gotta admit, for the kids, this sure beats strained peas and liver. But Mom insists they brush after every crop. Don't you just hate it when this happens? You go to a picnic and shoot. Come on, come on, get out of here. I'll pull up the bug spray on you. These chimps don't want to share with wasps. They don't even want to share with each other. Oh, come on, just give me a handful. Yeah, I'll give you a footful. <laughs> My sugar cane. Make a size 12 in the mouth. Well, finally back with the family. Mother says, enough is enough, and tries to wrestle that piece of cane away from Junior. It's enough sugar for today. Come on, give me the hand it over. I'll give you some extra spanky. Now, what's this? Why are they sounding the chimpanzee alarm? Is this just a sugar rush from all those sweets? No, it's an intruder chimp from another tribe trying to rob that candy store. It's a call to arms, and chimps have long arms. This one grabs onto a large branch and rushes to the attack. Meanwhile, Mother Chimp can't believe her good fortune. With all the distraction, nobody noticed the thief has dropped his booty. He left sugar free. He scoops it up and with baby on board, heads back into the jungle. With the danger gone, the rest of the troop follows her lead. And after gathering the leftovers, they head back for a full night of flossing and praying that the tooth fairy will be gentle. You might know that the chimpanzee is a primate, and so is the gorilla, the orangutan, and the monkey, but one of them is not in the same group of animals. Which one? Gorilla, orangutan, chimpanzee, or monkey? Which one does not belong here? Todd is playing for the Sacramento Zoological Society. Sally for the actors and others for animals. We'll be starting with Soleil. Um, I'd say monkey because the other ones are so big. I don't, I don't know. Um, Picked a monkey, monkey and you related that to size. All right, Sally. Um, I'd say a chimpanzee just because. Um, Michael Jackson carries one around, so it's got to be in a family all of the time. Yeah, <laughs> that makes, makes it different. Yeah. Gets to go on world tours. Yeah, bubble. Except in chimp. South America, where Todd will never bump into one. <laughs> Dan. I also said a chimpanzee, mainly because, well, because Sally did, basically. And, uh, <laughs> and I really have no idea, but it's just a okay. safe way to go. All right, Todd. Well, it seems to me that the only uh, movie for which uh, they're famous as Planet of the Apes. And since they had their own movie, I assume that they probably have their own family. So I said, Gorilla. All right. Some difference of opinion. Let's turn to page one in our primate primer and see just what separates one from the rest. This is a gorilla. This is a big gorilla. A gorilla is an ape, and apes don't have tails, and this gorilla is polite enough to demonstrate that. Here's an orangutan with a stylish goatee. From this angle we see he too is tailless. Another ape. Ape number three, our friend the pygmy chimp and son. Pygmy chimp junior. Still no tail, that means, that's right, another ape. But wait, up in the sky. It's a tail and that means it's a monkey, not an ape. That, my friends, is the major physical difference between apes and monkeys. Monkeys have tails, apes don't. So they got it. Oh, so it's not, uh, it's not really the size, although it's the size of the tail, because there's no tail in the other case, and tail is the difference. So the, 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 the Soleil was close enough. She didn't have to know the reason. We'll be back with some animals that eat like birds, because they are birds. The birds are the feather in lousy weather, and they're coming up. Reggie the Hedgie here with a letter from Christy Knight of Denison, Texas, who says she'd like to become a veterinarian. But for now, she helps her dad raise into Brazil cows and American red brahmins. Look at those long, droopy ears, the big humps on their backs, and the extra skin on their necks. Looks like they could use a tuck or two. <laughs> Thanks for writing, Christy. Chocolatey chocolate. What you call it? How's it go? Wow's the 
gonna do? Chew gooey caramel. What you gonna do? Picky. You know what I mean. Peanutty crispy. Chewy, chewy, chocolatey, crunchy, crunchy. Do that. Let's get a meringue. More than a mouthful. It's a call it. What you call it? This morning I saw a sign that said, come see local spelling bee. I said, what a country. Even insects go to school. The fun fact is, bees have five eyes. If you see a lot of bees in your backyard, don't do anything to make them cry. You might cause a flood. <laughs> this trip's a breeze thanks to my super golden crisp cereal, riding high with 10 vitamins and minerals, and the honey sweet part of this nutritious breakfast. Something shady going on here. Yeah, and my beak digs your honey sweet wheat sugar bear. Dig this bird brain. All you're getting is a vitamin pack punch. It looks like this turkey's goose is cooked. Can't get enough of super golden crisp. It's got the crunch with punch. Yeah. <laughs> It wasn't easy getting even more delicious chocolate into something as rich in chocolate as a Three Musketeers bar. Fortunately, it's a lot easier to get all that extra chocolate out of it. Ta-da! On the next weekend special... A special? Only you can solve! A male witch is set free! Where are you from? Show. With evil magic powers that only a good witch can stop. There's no way out. It's Miss Switch to the rescue. Now we return to Animal Crackups. <laughs> Ever bought for Apple yeah. Sam? You know, I was wondering when you're going to ask me that, Alan. Uh, I did once at a, at a, at a party, and uh, I made a real fool of myself because it was very tough. The apples were still on the tree. Oh, and, uh, well, I'll, I'll be. Uh, well, if, uh, yeah, it's easier than bobbing for uh, pumpkins or porcupines. There are some animals in adverse conditions who are happy to bob for whatever is bobbo. What? This might be a winter wonderland to us, but to many animals, winter means one thing, food shortage. Now, some learn to adjust their diet and eat whatever's available, like we do when our kids beat us to the fridge. The squirrel digs up previously hidden goodies. Let's have a gander of the eating habits of a couple birds that decided to brave it up. By the way, the gander isn't one of them. This guy would be eating insects in summer. In winter, he's not so picky. Our man-made apple tree looks kind of pathetic, but this bird's not about to look a gift apple in the mouth. This bird's trying some vitamin C. Helps fight off the cold. He's saying, hey, why don't you just send me to Florida? I can pick my own. A lemon? Well, they like citrus fruits, but well, you can't sing with a puckered beak. But these are hard times. And getting worse. An onion? No, no, no. It gives me heartburn and bad bird breath. How about a little cheese platter? No crackers? Well, now let's get back to the apple. This time, we make it a little tougher to get at. Here's an old family recipe, apple on a string. He swoops down and drills it. He could eat a bushel with a peck. Maybe looking for a worm. Protein. Some people like bobbing for apples. Some like hovering for apples. Is the chickadee clever enough to get this nut? Walnut on a string. No problem for him. Although it is a little awkward eating upside down like this, you try hanging onto your dining room table by your feet. 
Not only do you have trouble digesting, you'll have trouble finding dinner guests. <laughs> Here's some filet of walnut, deshelled, delicious and delightful. It shouldn't be too tough. This should be a piece of cake, except it's a piece of walnut. He is going to eat that walnut meat, but we want to know how. Yes, how will the chickadee get the walnut meat? That's the mystery. Will he peck it from midair? Will he sit on it and peck it? Will he pull up that string and peck it? That's the question. Write down your answers. Soleil is playing for the ASPCA. Dan for the Performing Animal Welfare Society. And we'll begin with Sally. Well, <clears throat> he looks like he was tired from his last round with the walnut with the shell. So at this point, I think he's ready to sit down and take it easy. Right side up, I would imagine. Just sit on it. <laughs> sit on it, yeah. Dan? I also agree with Sally, mainly because, well, because she said it, too. And, uh, <laughs> no, I don't know, I, I just think, I like to say the phrase. I just wanted to say it on television. Sit on it, so. <laughs> Feel good? <laughs> Todd? Would that I could be original, but unfortunately, Joni said it to Richie many times. Sit on it. <laughs> and so I? Wait, I put sit on it also, and I don't think it would be pull up the string, because why wouldn't he have done it all those other times? I don't know. I don't know. But, well, remember that was a, there was a big heavy apple on uh -oh. one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think everybody just likes to say sit on it. We have that kind of a group today. So uh, hover and peck, sit and peck, pull and peck. A bushel and a peck, Gregory Peck, who knows? Pecking is definitely involved. And for the impeccable truth, we'll roll tape now. We have walnut, we have string, we have chickadee. Do we have lunch? Well, here's what happens, my chickadee chums. He pulls up on that string until the walnut comes to him. Chickadee may be small, but chickadee is no chump. Pecks away with that built-in nutcracker. And this will be quite a feast because that walnut will feed him for about two days. And then just hang on, my friend. Summer's right around the corner. Don't you all feel silly now? You notice how quickly they take off their little cards and put them down behind them when they don't get it right. Grab yourself a pencil and paper, and I'll tell you about a contest when we come back. After these messages, we'll be right back. Dinosaurs, come on! Capture the dinosaurs! Don't drop the stop the dinosaurs! It's the dinosaur hunt! Chef Boyardee! Dinosaurs from Chef Boyardee. Tasty, wholesome pasta that's a dinosaur hunt. Cause first one to capture all three dinosaur shapes wins. Thanks for this for Chef Boyardee. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. And dinosaurs with meatballs. Dinosaurs. I hope we can find the score, Miss Blizzard. Don't worry. Look out. Wow. Mm. Know what we need to get us going? Hot Nestle, quick. Come on! Chocolatey, rich and creamy. That's because you make it with milk. Ah, now we're ready to get going. Look! Ah. He walked off quick! Ooh, ooh. How do we find the school? Hot Nestle Quick. The taste that gets you going. We're having a blast at the beach. That's why we're into Beach Blast Barbie. Beach Blast Barbie is a the trend. Beach Blast Barbie is the one with all her friends. She's in the clip-on hair that turns pink in the sun. Wow! Beach Blast Barbie, you're the one. We're into Barbie. We're into Barbie. Beach Blast Barbie doll and friends. Beach party set and buggy each sold separately. You put accessories together. New from Mattel. Here's something new and juicy. Here's something a whole lot of fun. New lifesavers, fruit juices, candy. Territorial and possessive. You know, that's my tree. No, it's my tree. That's my rock. You can't have it. It's my beast. It's my towel. It's my girlfriend. Get your own. They sound just like us. 
This might look like a peaceful beach, but life is never tranquil for a crab. This one comes up to catch some rays. And before you know it, he's about to be ambushed by another crab. Makes you wonder why can't they take out their aggression the way humans do, maybe with a game of football. Yeah, let's try blocking. All right, you ready? Good hit, good, 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 good hit. All right, now huddle up, everybody. Here's what I want you to do. You go deep about 15 yards, right? Yeah, out to the left. Then you're going to cut inside. I'm going to get the ball to you. Ready? Okay. Motion. Ready, set, hut one, hut two. Touchdown. That was for you, Tom. Good play. Good play. Well, uh, I'd love to give you one of these, but... Uh, yeah, right today. No, and well, that's all right. That's uh, Soleil did two, and Dan did two, and they each get one of these from the World Wildlife Fund collection. More importantly, twenty-five hundred dollars gets split between the ASPCA and the Performing Animal Welfare Society. Thanks to these two, here's something special for you folks at home. You can win a stuffed animal like the ones awarded on our show. To enter, mail as many separate postcards as you like to Animal Crackups. Include your name, address, and phone number. Five different winners will be selected from all postcards received in a monthly random drawing by the first of the month. All postcards are eligible for one drawing period only, and all cards not selected will be destroyed. Good luck. Thank you folks for being with us. Remember, you be the kind who's kind to animals, okay? Good luck. Thank you for watching the Congratulations to all our winners in the January drawing for the five stuffed animals from the World Wildlife Fund collection. Leanne Hoover, Dan Metzger, Matthew Watson, Gregory Wang, and Stacy Bailey. Tomorrow, it's a bewitching and bedazzling Disney classic. Angela Lansbury stars in bed knobs and broomsticks. Wednesday, Maggie and Jason's 20th anniversary party becomes an even bigger surprise for all the guests on Growing Pains. Then nobody puts on a show like the kids on Head of the Class. And now stay tuned for Miss Switch to the Rescue, the ABC Weekend Special, next. This is ABC. We're making Cinnamon Toast Crunch. We'll help. Great. <laughs> I do the baking. I shake on cinnamon and sugar. Oops. I get it. With a crunch. It's the cinnamon toastiest part of this complete breakfast. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I don't see any fry kids up here to steal my McDonald's french fries. <gasps> Surprise! Ronald McDonald in. <laughs> fry kids. <laughs> You'll never catch us. You'll never learn. Ronald, That's what you think. We got your french fries. Silly fry kids. Taxi, great taste, driver, get us out of here! Where to? Uh-oh! McDonald's! What are you doing? Marianne said that if my nose were not so crooked, I would look like Bruce Willis. Well, why do you want to look like Bruce Willis? Because he's handsome. Well, so are you. I, even with my crooked nose? Even with your crooked nose. Look, Bruce Willis is a very nice-looking Bruce Willis, but you are the best-looking Balky Bartokamus around. It's your heart out, Bruce. See, Wait, uh, I know. You're getting in the mood for today's ABC Weekend Special, Cougar, based on the book An American Ghost by Chester Aaron. No, that, that, that's not... And a, since that's... it's all about a gigantic rainstorm, <laughs> you've decided to wear a raincoat. No, I'm wearing it because I just washed my car, I have a golf date, my mother's having a garden party, and my roof needs fixing. Sounds like rain to me. <laughs> <laughs>
fresh track, Alvin. See how the lines are hard? Ain't caved in yet. Keep a sharp watch out while your mom and me is over to the midwife's. You listen sharp too, little miss. Cougar needs a fresh kill to keep happy. This one gets hungry, it's gonna come for our pigs and goats. You see it, son, you shoot to kill. Gotta protect you and your sister too. We don't like leaving you two here alone, but there ain't no choice. I was about to have the baby, and the midwife's too old to travel the roads this time of year. The rain's all but washed them out anyhow. You sure you'll be all right, Albie? I want you to go. Suppose the river floods. Ma ain't safe here, not with the new baby. I'll take good care of the place till you get back. Me too. Starts to rain again. Keep your eye on that stake in the riverbed. If the river rises more than two inches, you grab Sarah and get to high ground. What about the stock? Turn them loose. We'll round them up later. The important thing is you and your sister. Don't take time to second guess that river. Just get. Sarah, you look after your brother. Hmm? He'll be working hard and he'll want his meals hot. I'll be back before you know it. Albie. Let's get started, then. I'll come by each morning just to see if there's something you might need a little help with. Son? You're in charge now. was good. You didn't say anything. About what? The dinner I made, the chicken. Oh. Is that what it was? It was hot soup. Go to sleep. It's raining again, Albie. Go on, I said. Are you coming too? Soon.
wake up. How could you sleep? Because I was up all night watching out for you. What a mess. Albie, I am a little sick to my stomach. You too? Some. You don't think. We're floating. We're in the middle of the river. What happened to the farm? Blood must have washed it away. I'm scared, Abby. I've never even been in a boat before. Pa's probably got a search party out already. Don't see float all the way to Mexico, Abby. All the way to South America or China. How's they gonna know where to look? Will you stop asking me so many questions? Well, you're supposed to be taking care of me. Just let me think. Well? Well what? What you think of? I'm gonna go look around. I'm coming with you. You stay here and make a flag so we can signal for help. Can you find us some food? I'm hungry. How else was I going to get it? But weren't you scared? You could have drowned, Abby. We have to eat, don't we? That's a nice flag, Sarah. I made it white so people could see it better. 
Eat some of this. It'll help keep you warm. Did you get any peaches? <laughs> what is it? What's happening, guys? He must have crashed into something. This time we're gonna die, Abby. Not till you're old and gray and a great grandmother. Now, let me see if you got any serious bumps or bruises here. It's only your head. <laughs> oh, Albie. <laughs> <laughs> now, you be careful now. Careful. We're not floating anymore. Guess we must have hit China. Really? You think we... We did not hit China. We hit something else. We hit some kind of island. That's good, isn't it? It ought to make it easier for them to find us. must have hit the island first. And the tree crashed into us. The tree came all the way through the house. Be careful, Abby. Sarah, go to your room, get in the closet, and close the door! I want to leave you! You want the cougar to eat us both? No, but I don't want him to eat you either! Charge now, Sarah, do what I say! <laughs>
Maybe it's hungry. If we feed the cougar, maybe it won't eat us. I thought I told you to stay in the closet. I was worried about you. You want to do what I tell you. <sighs> Suppose something happened to you. How would I know if I was in the closet? At least you'd be safe. Well, who'd know it? Nobody would ever be able to find me if I stayed in there. Can you hear the cougar breathing? No. I can. What about giving it this venison? Lions only eat fresh meat, Sarah. Well, they can't just let it starve. Why not? Because it'll get so hungry. It'll chew its way free and eat us. Well, it won't eat that, I tell you. I gotta get us off this island. Hand me that flat piece of wood. I'm sure that raft is going to hold us. We're going to make it off this island before that cougar gets out of the room. We got to try. Now find me a pole while I lash this together. to swim to shore. It was real tired. I guess it just gave up. You drown? A little thing. Are we gonna bury it? There's three things on this island the cougar can eat. You, me, or this goat. Looks like one of Ma's goats. I didn't have no honey-colored goat. She had a brown one. Maybe it drowned for us. I don't understand. Know what happened if every single person kept on living? I mean, every single insect, every person, every horse, every fish, every everything? No. There wouldn't be enough room for them all. Why didn't God make the world bigger? You can't expect me to know everything, Sarah. I just know that it came here so we could give it to the cougar. Like an offering? Yeah. Then maybe we'll get rescued before the Kruger gets hungry again. Poor girl. Thank you. Better hurry, Abby. After these messages, we'll be right back. What's that noise? Where did all the funny footprints come from? Fun Fruits Funny Feet. The fruit <laughs> snack that comes in 19 different crazy feet made with real fruit. Here comes Mom. New Sun Kissed Fun Fruits Funny Feet. Robocop. <laughs> <laughs> 
Part man, part robot, all cop. Drop it! Robocop and the Ultra Police, each sold separately. The only cops with rapid repeat cap firing. Evil headhunter on a skullhog is cruising for trouble. Robocop in its armored Robocopter takes off after him. Fire Robo missile. We'll give you a lift to jail. You put Robocopter together. Robocop vehicles and figures with Robocaps, each sold separately. I know I should drink milk. Because it'll help me grow up big and strong. Milk's got stuff that's good for my bones and stuff that's good for my muscles. And I guess that's okay, but I'm more interested in having fun. That's what makes milk so neat. You can drink a lot of it, and it tastes cool, so it can be a real pick-me-up. Milk, it does the body good. It sure is. The car's a convertible, and I left the top down. <laughs> Next on the weekend special, the story continues. The cougar did it. It's gonna get us, Abby. It's so hungry. The youngsters must use their wits to survive. I fed it, and it didn't hurt me. I'll find us and won't be, Abby. And finally, their prayers are answered. Over! Or are they? Cougar. <laughs> One, two, three, a great game from Chef Boyardee. It's played just like a spelling bee. A, B, C, then one, two, three, just spell it out, and then yell it out. A, B, C, then one, two, three. A, B, C, then one, two, three. A good hot meal, and so tasty. Plus, first one to spell a word wins. Thank goodness for Chef Boyardee. A, B, C, then one, two, three. With and without meatballs. Read more. A reading kind of cat. Read a book like me, you'll soon agree that reading is where it's at. This is ABC. Hi, Happy Meal guys. Hi, Ronald. Hi, Ronald. Hi, Ronald. Hi, Ronald. Hey, what are the Chicken McNuggets doing in their box? Oh, they're, they're just clowning around. around. <laughs> <laughs> now McDonald's has food with funny faces. Hello. Four Happy Meal guys with stickers. French fries. You get one Fisher Price food toy with each Happy Meal you buy. Bedtime McNugget buddies. Fisher Price fun with food Happy Meal at McDonald's. Open up! <laughs> we want those allowance game cards from Tang. Huh? Read my lips. <laughs> you know those game cards you match up to win a free allowance for a year. Tang has a million bucks for giveaway, man. A free game card in rules and self-addressed stamped envelope to Game Card, P.O. Box 693, Ardsley, New York, 10502. Millions will try and thousands will win, so match them up. I'm getting five a week. I'm getting ten a week. I'm getting out of here. You can get your allowance game card on specially marked packages of Tang brand drink. <laughs> we now return to Slimer and the real Ghostbusters. Wake up to the hot taste of Kellogg's Pop-Tarts. A taste so cool. So cool, they yeah. hot. Pop-Tarts popping up, they pop up hot. A taste so cool, inside they're hot. Taste the real food so hot, hot, hot. Oh, oh. A taste so cool, so cool. They're hot. Let's just up and have a fashion show. Introducing Dressing Pretty. Three sets of dress-up clothes. You can pretend you're a fashion model or imagine you're a ballerina. Dressing Pretty, I'm Dressing Pretty. Look at me. Dressing Pretty, let me be. All the me that I dream of be. Look at me, it's my wedding day. A beautiful bride in every way. Dressing Pretty. Dressing Pretty fashion model comes with everything here. Bride and ballerina sold separately. 
first time I checked an American hotel, the bellman said, Yakov, can I show you where your quarters are? <laughs> They're in my pocket. The fun fact is, the largest coin ever was from Sweden and weighed 44 pounds. Instead of a piggy bank, you'd need an elephant bank. <laughs> Something is up, and it looks like... The Soggies! Let's take off with that tasty spit crunch. Captain Crunch, they pinched breakfast. Mm, <laughs> those Soggies are out of line. <laughs> Good thing I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> what goes up must come down. Yay! Captain Crunch cereal is a tasty part of a complete breakfast. Fully flies for the birds. Oh, gee, what's with the life jacket? Billy D, didn't you see last week's ABC weekend special? The river is flooding, the house where Albie and Sarah live has been washed away, and they're in big trouble. We could be next. Oh, gee, there's no danger. That's all taking place in the story Cougar, based on the book An American Ghost by Chester Aaron. We're about to see part two. There's no danger of a flood here? No danger. Say, so you don't happen to have an extra life jacket, do you? of 1860 was a terrible time. It rained for days on end as hard as the Bible said it rained in Noah's time. All the small farms on the banks of the Mississippi were in danger of being washed away in a flood. Albie. Ma and Pa left me in charge of our farm and my eight-year-old sister, Sarah. Take care of your sister. Well, if it starts to rain again, you grab Sarah and get the high ground. Son, you're in charge now. That night, the rains began again. The house was torn from where it stood by the flood and carried into the middle of the raging river. We drifted all night. We're not flooding anymore. You must have hit some kind of island. That's good, isn't it? Me and my sister went to inspect the damage. We must have hit the island first. And the tree crashed into us. It came all the way through the house. Be careful, Abby. As if things weren't bad enough, we found ourselves trapped on this island in the middle of a river with a wild mountain lion. Who's gonna get out? You've gotta kill it, Abby! <laughs> The hungrier that cougar got, the more danger me and Sarah would be in. I'm not sure that rack is going to hold us. We're going to make it off this island before that cougar gets out of the room. we got to try. Then I saw a small goat, which had drowned in the river. If I could get to it, I could free the cougar and keep me and my sister safe for a little while longer. After these messages, we'll be right back. Hawaiian taste from high C. High C, high C when it's up to me. High 
see Hula Punch. It's totally Hawaiian. Make a wish. I wish I get dressed and dazzle. Happy birthday! Let's get dazzling! Dress and Dazzle has nail polish, makeup, fabulous hair, and more. And the bow lets you know it's real Dress and Dazzle. I wish it was my birthday. Dress and Dazzle, Dress and Dazzle. Dress and Dazzle, scarf sets, makeup, and hair falls, each sold separately in toy departments. Now, back to our story. I think I understand about the goat, Albie. I didn't understand it right away myself, you know. I had to think about it, too. Uh-huh. Like when Mom makes the fire. There's heat and flames inside the wood, but she don't see them until she lights it. The goat has a life inside it that we can't see, and it's going to give that life to us so that we can give it to the cougar. Makes perfect sense to me. It does? I told you I thought about it. You ought to be a preacher when you grow up. Oh, Abby, where did you ever see a girl preacher? You do as good a job explaining things as Pastor Brown does. Pop, I hear you say that. Suppose the cougar won't eat it. Then what do we do? Worry about it later. Now, while I take this goat to the cougar's room, I want you to climb out on the roof and act as a lookout. All right. But you'll come back soon, here? As soon as I'm finished with this business. Go ahead. I will. out here. Wish we had some knives and forks, but we don't. Hey, let Mom make this. Wish we had some bread to put it on. Didn't another tree hit the house? No, we would have felt then it. what was it? I'm gonna go find out. But don't go! How else am I gonna... I'm scared for you! I'll be right back! Go ahead, y'all. I'm not gonna sit out here wondering what you're doing or something. <laughs> the cougar did it. It's gonna get us, Abby. It's still hungry! 
run, Sarah! You've got to hide. Well, what about you? I don't want to be in here without you. No matter what, stay in there. Promise, stay in there. See anything? Shh. Do you see the cougar? No. I want to know if... I'll tell you now. Keep quiet. I thought maybe you were... Why didn't you answer me? The cougar was here. Where? There. It didn't touch you? It did. How? With its tongue. It licked me. What did it feel like? Sandpaper. It felt like sandpaper. It did? But you're still alive. Yeah. I fed it and it didn't hurt me. It lay right down next to me. Maybe it, it was thanking you for the food. Maybe it was. After these messages, we'll be right back. Our mission is to finally 
buddy Chips Ahoy cookie without biting a chip. Synchronized cookies. Bite. Well, the beat never tastes so sweet. Chips Ahoy. Bet you bite a chip. We just want to eat tasty Teddy Grahams. Just a bunch of bite-sized bears. Those Teddy Grahams. Great to eat Graham snacks. Exploding with taste. The we're into fun and friends. And hanging out together. That's why we're into Cool Times Barbie. Cool Times Barbie's into being cool. Cool Times Barbie has the best time at the school. Christy and Mitch. She's got the hottest clothes that she's ever had. Cool Times Barbie. You're proud. We're into Barbie. We're into Barbie. Cool Times Barbie doll with skateboard that becomes a scooter. Ken, Mitch, Christy, and Teresa dolls each sold separately. New from Mattel. Hey, Tickles, if an apple a day keeps the doctor away, what will an onion do? Keep everyone away, P.U. <laughs> well, almost everyone. I know I should drink milk, because it'll help me grow up big and strong. Milk's got stuff that's good for my bones and stuff that's good for my muscles. And I guess that's okay, but I'm more interested in having fun. That's what makes milk so neat. You can drink a lot of it, and it tastes cool. So it can be a real pick-me-up. Milk, it does the body good. To our story. Where'd the cougar go? I don't know. Couldn't have gone very far. Won't we still have to feed it tomorrow? I guess we will. It's bound to get hungry. Maybe the river has a whole herd of goats it's coughing up one by one, just when we need them. I still wish you had your gun. trouble than you know. Here we go.
Abby. Now that the weather's clear, they'll have boats on the river. Ma and Pa will be looking sure. Most they think it got washed away. Or drowned. Maybe they won't bother to look. What do we do? I wish I knew. You promised we could say a prayer if you ran out of ideas. I know, but... Well? I don't want to get God angry by saying the wrong thing. You can't say the wrong thing to God, Abby. I to make him a promise and don't keep it. You know how many folks are out there asking his help? Probably near everybody on the river. No, sir. I want to be exact in what I ask. We don't want just anything, do we? We want us to be safe. Deliverance. We want deliverance. Does that mean we get to go back home again? Yep. All right, then let's pray for that. We still got to be brief. Pa says God's got millions of other prayers to listen to, so it's a bad idea to waste his time with ramblings. Better hurry up and say something then. God, please save Sarah and me and the cougar. The cougar? Paul, he says his eyes on the sparrow. If his eyes on the sparrow, it's got to be on the cougar, too. I don't know. That. What's the matter with all of us staying alive? Nothing. God, please save Sarah and me and the lion and her babies. I think that's enough. Maybe I should give him an idea how to do it. Abby, he's older than you, so he knows what to do probably better than you. That's what I think. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Over! Is anybody there? We're gonna be saved, Abby! Stay down, Sarah. I'm not so sure. <laughs> Stick out of sight. They don't look too good to me. Now let's see what we got here. You want to search the house? Well, what do you think we're going to do? Dig for buried treasure? <laughs> oh, that's a good one, Ray. Buried treasure on this mud pile. <laughs> Get in there.
got all this food. We've got ourselves a banquet here. They weren't expecting us. Rabbit? Look, this here is rabbit. I hate rabbit. Cherries? Go talk to them. You're crazy. They've got a boat. It's the only way we can get off this island. No, don't you move. <laughs> Hello in there. It's okay, Ray. swiping my Eggo waffles. So I invented the Eggo Keeper. I modified this toaster to create a specific trajectory to propel my Eggo directly onto my plate. Consequently, I never have to Lego my Eggo. Eggo waffles from Kellogg's. Taste too good to let go. Part of this complete breakfast. My invention is an Eggo protector. My dad was always taking my Eggos. Space exploring is hard work. Yeah, now I've got to refuel myself. I know. Let's go to the Milky Way. That'll hit the spot. The fun's just starting. Quick will make it rich, chocolatey. And... Delicious. Ah, quick really puts me in orbit. Nestle Quick, the taste that gets you going. We're into fun and friends. And hanging out together. That's why we're into Cool Times Barbie. Cool Times Barbie's into being cool. Cool Times Barbie has the best time at the school. Christy and Mitch. She's got the hottest clothes that she's ever had. Cool Times Barbie. You're glad we're into Barbie. We're into Barbie. Cool Times Barbie doll with skateboard that becomes a scooter. Ken, Mitch, Christy, and Teresa dolls each sold separately. New from Mattel. Our mission is clear, to finally bite a Chips Ahoy cookie without biting a chip. Let's try the northern approach. Impossible! What about the southern route? No way. Nope. Our only chance is right here. Synchronized cookies. Bite. Not again. Well, the feet never tasted so sweet. Chips Ahoy cookies. Bet you bite a chip. Hey, want to try again tomorrow? You bet! Let's go! I'm Captain O.G. Reboar. My motto's tried and true. Read a book today, I bet you'll say, oh, gee, <laughs> I'll read more, too. <laughs> Here are the hosts of the ABC Weekend Specials, Billy T. Williams and O.G. Reedmore. Well, we're safe. <laughs> but I can't say the same for Albie and Sarah. Do you think they'll make it? Oh, we'll find out next week in the conclusion of Cougar, based on the book An American Ghost. Okay, let me try that on. Next on the weekend special, the exciting conclusion. This is my house, and you're trespassing on my property. Albie is kidnapped by a pair of pirates. You're never gonna get me! But he outwits his captors, only to be taken prisoner once again. This time you won't get away. Cougar. Monday at 8, 7 Central, a walk in the woods becomes a game of survival on an all-new MacGyver. And Thursday... Look who's coming back. It's the king of canine comedy with more of his madcap adventures, along with a case of puppy love. The return of the shaggy dog, an ABC family classic.